In just a few hours, the Durham Public School Board will vote on a controversial new redistricting plan. Thousands of children will have to switch schools, but the district says the change is worth it for the equity of the plan that it creates. WRL's Monica Casey spoke with parents ahead of tonight's meeting. Durham Public School parents are divided about the redistricting process. Some are concerned about the impact of switching schools on their child, but others say this is the right move for the district as a whole. Samira Wellemeyer's daughter will be switching schools under the Growing Together redistricting plan. I am of the belief that any of the schools will do a good job for my children. Wellemeyer has been part of focus groups on the redistricting for two years. She says it's not perfect, but it is needed. We need to plan for the city that we have now and not just keep trying to make this old system work for us. The plan divides the district into five regions. School board chair Bettina Umstead says they are similar in capacity, enrollment and household income. And with the new rules, it really allows folks all across Durham to have more access. Each region will have specialized options. Kristen Southworth's children attend year-round Easley Elementary School. It's really helpful, I think, as a working parent to have that schedule. She tells me COVID shined a spotlight on inequities and she wants other families to have opportunities. I think it's really important that all of our students in Durham and have the same access to the same quality education. One goal is to relieve pressure on over enrolled schools. Southwest, Holt, Hope Valley and Bethesda Elementary are the four most overcrowded schools, all at or over 110% capacity. What that's meant for some of those buildings is that you're, they are using trailers that are outside. Um, they also are having many, many lunch periods. So some students are starting lunch at 10 a.m. That was Monica Casey reporting. Tonight's meeting starts at 530 and includes a section for public comment from parents. These rules would take effect in the 2024-2025 school year.